Reverend Dr. William L. Johnson III here with our morning meditation. What a wonderful week it is, what a wonderful day it is, what a wonderful time to share these messages that we hope that will encourage and inspire. Every week, we hope that we will give you a message that you can carry with you. Tuck it in somewhere, put it in your carrying case, pull it out when you need it. In fact, we hope that it shows up for you at the right time and at the right moment. Today's morning meditation is entitled, The Unseen Behind the Scene. The Unseen Behind the Scene. Well, let me tell you first off, I am a sucker for mystery movies, mystery stories, anything that has mystery to it. I don't know what it is as a part of my mind that it wants to figure out what cannot be figured out in the midst of the journey. But I also recognize that in my life, the way I enjoy these movies, and the way I enjoy these stories, it is the reason that I am inclined to read them, to understand them, is because there is an unseen thing behind the thing. There's an unseen thing behind the scene. One of my favorite biblical stories uh, and books in the Bible is the book of Esther. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with this book in the Bible, it is an interesting book to be placed in the Bible, in the canon of the Bible, because it has no mention of God or God's name anywhere in the book. Yet, it is evident that throughout the book of Esther, God is somewhere working behind the scenes. I won't go into the complete story, but just let me say to you that there are moments in our lives in which we've been looking for some divine intervention. We've been asking for a prevailing miracle. We've been asking or needing God to show up to settle things or to straighten out things or for a door to be open. We have gone through prayer. We have talked to friends who talked to God. We've gone to meditation and all of that seems that we don't have a very present, very clear, a very open conversation with this unseen being that is supposed to be guiding our lives. Sometimes it can be quite frustrating when you've been waiting on an answer for prayer or waiting for a, a miracle or waiting for something to happen. Uh, let the stars come out. Let somebody say something profound. Let there be something miraculous that you can see to give you hope. And there is nothing. It is dull. It is flat. And even your prayers seem to not be answered right away. I love it that God does that for us at moments in our lives that we don't see a miracle or some bright shining thing that happens or something that turns the world over or a comet that flashes across the sky or somehow it shows up like in the movies that the miraculous hero shows up in our lives to do all the things we had asked for exactly the way we wanted them done. And I am convinced that that can be really frustrating. It doesn't happen like the movies. Life doesn't come out that way. It doesn't open itself to us to do the things we would have imagined. In fact, the plans that we make don't always come out the very way in which we have laid them out. Matter of fact, most of the time, they do not pan out the way we plan them. However, there is an unseen thing behind it that is guiding our lives, that we've discovered there are things that we didn't pray for that blessed our lives anyway. Things that never had, uh, we never had our hands on that somehow worked out for our favor. A door that opened, a call that came, maybe uh, an opportunity that presented itself that you never knew uh, would happen. Uh, as a group uh, that I'm a part of, we had a win uh, that took place that we didn't actually uh, try to make happen. And while there were windows of opportunity that opened for us that we didn't raise. Those are the things that we discover that are unseen things behind the scene. The story of Esther is a story of God's moving and guiding things without taking the credit, without taking center stage, without entering to, with a lot of pomp and circumstance, but yet guiding us through like family members who've been looking after us long before we even knew that they were caring for us or providing for us, or for things that happened, a job that happened, a friend that, that showed up right when you needed them, and we didn't even call for the help. 
In those moments where there are things that are happening unseen behind the scene, it is important to note that those things come to give us help, to give us hope, to give us a hand. So this week, I want you to give yourself a moment to think about the unseen things that are happening behind the scene. All the things that are happening that are uh, coming into your world that present themselves that you didn't know uh, were working up on your behalf. I used to say to friends, if people only knew that things don't just happen, we take so much for granted. So many things that we're just so entitled and so spoiled that we just imagine that would always be always be there, not knowing that someone put in a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of sweat and a lot of tears to work the unseen things so that we can ride across our lives without even thinking about them. Have you imagined that? The bridge that you crossed on your way to work, that someone was laboring somewhere to make it happen so you can get from one place to another. All the things that our parents or those who looked after us did to try to make sure that we had a comfortable life to be able to get to one stage in life to another. I always say that I understand now why the football player, after scoring the touchdown, looks into the camera and says, thanks, mom. Well, they recognize that there was something happening unseen beyond and behind the scene. Those things are those moments in which you grasp and you hold on to. And I hope you never forget that there are unseen movements behind the scene of your life, namely the one who is your creator who's been moving things beyond our ability to see the results right away. I know it's disappointing when you prayed for something or hoped for something or imagined that something would be different and it didn't happen the way you planned it. I know it's really difficult when your back is against the wall and the pressure is on and you're waiting for the hope and the rescue and it doesn't quite come when you want it or when you need it. And when you've tied, uh, gotten to the end of your rope and people suggested that if you get to the end of your rope, hurry up and tie a knot only to discover that the rope you've tied, you've held on to, eventually breaks. Those are the moments when you're wondering where the unseen is. But mark my words, later on down the line, you'll discover that that rope broke in order to break you and move you to the next place in your life, the next relationship, the next job, the next opportunity. To get you from one place to another, sometimes we have to be pushed out from where we were into the place where we need to be. And sometimes the unseen powers are moving on our behalf. I call that God in my life. I don't know about you, but whatever you call it, I want you to know that there are some unseen things behind the scene. And when you recognize that everything is not in your hands, but that you're moving in concert with something that's bigger than you, it brings about a certain peace in your life. At least I hope it does. Well, that's our morning meditation today. I want you to know that you're loved, you're appreciated, and you're irreplaceable. These messages are meant to inspire and encourage, and I hope that during the course of this week, the course of the day, the course of your life, you discover that it's okay to trust that there are some unseen things behind the scenes working their way in your life and making up the blessings that will be your next step, your next job, your next love, your next life. Have a great one. Enjoy your day and enjoy the week. Indeed. Bye-bye.